Iran, iconic song from the 80s, or Islam's answer to the Deep South. I went to find out. My Hasidic Sherpa would only travel with me as far as the matzah would last. Praise be to Allah, donkeys smell infidels. For the enjoyable price of my anal hymen, Hamed and his ass rode me first to ecstasy, then to civilization. The warmth of this ancient culture was overwhelming. USA? USA. No, USA, no. No? no. no. Some things were familiar, some things weren't so familiar. I sat down with a government official whose housekeeper stole my microphone. Shalom, as you people say. Shalom. You say salam. Salam. Thank you very much for correcting me. Even though this was my first interview, I could sense he was hiding something. Let's talk about Amaninja. How do the Iranian people feel about him? Ahmadinejad. Okay. Yeah, I have your question again. Sure. Talking about Ahmadinejad. 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 How do the Iranian people feel about him? Well, again, it's not Iranians, but it's Iranians. Iranians are known all around the world for their mind games. I knew that for my country to have a chance, I'd have to break it. Where are the nuclear weapons? How did the friendship evolve between bin Laden, Saddam, and Ahmadinejad? Describe for me the first time you shouted death to America. Wash the feces as opposed to smearing the feces. Any advice on dating Iranian women? We can go into the bathroom together and you can teach me how to use the hose. I actually get a chubby. I knew I had got his attention. How do you think Amaninja will go down in history? Will it be Amaninja the Great, Amaninja the Mediocre, Amaninja the Job the Boring, or Amaninja? Eh. If you want to have a research on history, you should read books. Well, we don't need to read books in America. We have our television and we have our movies. This guy was giving me the Iranian two-step. So I found a group of second-class citizens. Where are the nuclear weapons? Do you know? Yes. You know? Just like in America, my dance moves were highly seductive. Unfortunately, they only allow men to dance with each other in public. For a country with no gays, they certainly reinforce the idea. Overall, how do you think Iranians feel about America? Well, again, I should correct you, that's not Iranians, but Iranians. How deep is the hatred? Do you feel it in your loins? I think they love American people. I can't blame you. America is great. It was obvious that my American charm worked with the ladies. With their tender flesh covered, I was able to concentrate on their wise words. What are you doing, man? Do you know these are non-alcoholic beers? I heard that when women commit adultery here, they get stoned. In America, they get drunk. Can you explain? No one gets stoned in Iran because of adultery. Or so whatever. smoking the chiba will not necessarily help them commit adultery. I don't get uh, what you say about smoking chiba, but in getting I stoned, high, <laughs> that sort of thing. You shouldn't commit such a thing. It's so nasty. Thing. Interesting and progressive ideas. I like where you're going with this. With all this new information flying at me, I knew I needed to find a place where I could reflect on my thoughts. Yeah, can I get uh, some toilet paper on salt too, please? Ooh. You guys do do one thing right. Marketing 72 virgins as a reward for suicide bombing is genius. If you did that in America, all of New Jersey would sign up for the Marines. Can you pick these women? Could I get Madonna in 1984? Mary Lou Retton, uh, after she won the Olympics. Blanche from the Golden Girls, the Hot Years. Would that be possible? They won't get virgins. They will straightly go to the hell. So there's no virgins in hell? I haven't been there, I don't know. Well, thank you very much. When America comes and liberates your country, you will be the first person I come and visit on my vacation. So, I don't want America to come and liberate my country. Shalom. And again, it's summer. Ah. I had all the facts I could handle. It was time to get home and reshape public opinion.
All I needed now was a ride.